What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Giants. Back again with another one for you. And this time we have You Will Know by Stevie Wonder. Okay, and what kind of song is this? Say it with me. One, two, three. Classic. Right. Okay. So um, let me explain. This version that I'm doing is not in the same key that Stevie Wonder recorded it in. And this is, um, give a shout out to Mr. P. Ellis. You already know he's Mr. Jodeci, right? And the, the reason why this song is in, is a half step lower than the key that Stevie recorded it in is because of Mr. Jodeci. Well, Mr. Jodeci, we all know as P. Ellis, but you know, when you hear further on throughout the rest of the video i'll just say mr mr jodeci so mr jodeci had uh found the clip of when jodeci mary j blige and stevie wonder performed this song together on the arsenio hall show i will have a link in the description of this video to that performance so that you know where why i'm based this version of the song off that he wanted it in that key particular, he said it's in a different key than what Stevie wanted it in. And he just wanted me to pass that message on that it is important for musicians to be able to play uh, songs in any key. And I agree with him because you never know with whoever voice you're working with. If you're working with a singer and they can't sing something is too high or whatever, you need to be able to know, well, okay, I'll just play it in this key. I can play it in that key. So he wanted me to shout that out. But we want to go through this. This is actually a simple song. It's not much to teach. So let's jump right into it. So we're in the key of E flat. It's normally in the key of E, okay? Oh, one more thing. In order for me to learn this song in this key, I still wound up learning it in the original key. So I did, when I created my chord sheet, my first chord sheet was the song in the original key. And then all I did was just take that and just lower everything down a half step. So anyone who purchases the, um, the chord sheet for this song will get the chord sheet for both keys. So this tutorial is teaching it in E flat. But if you purchase the, uh, the chord sheet, the information is in the description box. Or if you're on my Patreon and you're already a $5 or higher monthly pledger, you're going to already get it. It's going to be a two-page uh, PDF file. Page one will have this version. And if you scroll down to page two, you'll see the chord. I'll have the chords written out in the original key. So, okay, long introduction, but short tutorial after this. All right, here we go. So you're going to start with F minor 9, F, C, F on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, G on the right hand, C major 9, double C on the left hand, B, D, E, and G on the right hand. You want to bounce back and forth between those chords. Da, da, da. Even the introduction, the introduction is are just those chords. So when the when song comes on, you just playing between those two chords. Even before they start singing. 
Now let's say it's time to start singing. So here we go. Da -da -dee -dee. back to F minor 9 and then what you want to do is go to um, a G uh, B flat 6 um, you can also play it as a G minor 7 over B flat so that's how I like to play it so double B flat on the left hand G B flat D F on the right hand and then just take your left hand and go straight to G, which makes it a regular G minor seven. And then you wanna quickly jump over to C minor seven, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat, and then go to F minor seven, double F left hand, F, A flat, C, E flat, <clears throat> excuse me, E flat on the right hand. Take your left hand and just put it, play B flat. Okay, so that's F minor seven over B flat. Keep your right hand the same. And then you wanna end it with an E flat chord. Double E flat on the left hand. G, B flat, E flat. Those are all the chords to the verse. Sha -da -dee 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 -dee. again Double D on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand, and then take your left hand, put it over G. So now you have a D minor seven over G, and then just go to a C major chord. Any inversion, if you want to do it up here or down there, doesn't matter. Double C on the left hand, G, C, E, or if you want, play the G up here. C, E, G, okay? Then you wanna jump to E minor seven. So you can double your E on the left hand. E, G, B, D on the right hand. And then you wanna go to A minor seven. Double A on the left hand. G, A, C, E on the right hand. Okay, and then you're gonna return back to D minor seven, same way you played it before. Double D, left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand. Put it over G. Well, you can come up here, it doesn't matter. So D minor seven over G now. And then play your C major chord again, whichever inversion you wanna do. I showed, I already spelled out both for you. And then you, what you want to do is do your D minus seven over. Um, you'll get um, what is it? Okay, just, we're on that part where it goes. Okay, so that part you'll play. Okay, so you want to play your. Um, okay, at this point you're at D minus seven over G. Okay, and you might not want to double it up unless you can, unless you want to do it that way, but you might want to do it this way. So you got G on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand, and just chromatically walk down to E. Chromatic just means half steps. You just walk in half steps. So you'll go to G flat, F, and when you land on 
E, play E minor 7 again. Okay? So you'll go like that. Da, 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 like that. One more time. Look at it one more time. Oh, sorry about that. Um, okay. Here we go. Da, okay. Da, da. And then jump up to A minor 7 again. Okay. A minor 7 again. So again, E minor 7. The, um, e on the left hand, E, G, B, D on the right hand. Then you got your A minor 7, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, E. Okay, and then you're going to play the chorus again, basically. You know D minor 7 again. Put it over G, D minor 7 over G to C major. And then you'll have E minor 7 to A minor 7. All these chords I spelled out already. So since I had that long introduction, I'm trying to keep the video as short as I can. Then come back to your D minor 7. Double D left hand. A, C, D, F. You know that already. Then put it over G. So D minor 7 over G. So keep your right hand the same, G on the left hand. And then these are the last four chords that I need to show you. What is this? Okay, so that's, you have an A flat over B flat chord, okay? So B flat on the bass, left hand. Right hand is A flat, C, E flat. Then your left hand stays on B flat the whole time. It stays on B flat. It just hits B flat. Your right hand moves to a B flat major chord. B flat, D, F. Then you can move it to C major on the right hand. Okay, you can play your C major chord either way. G, C, E, or you can do C, E, G. Doesn't matter, either way, it's C major. And then bring it back down to B flat. B flat, D, F. So you have. Ooh. Okay. All right. So now let's put the chorus together. And that's the, that's the tutorial. So you got. You unknown, lonely heart. You know. Problems have solutions turned in evolution. Ooh, you will know. How you know. Problems have solutions. That's it right there. So that's the whole song. It's not too hard. Um, there's no other chords to the song. You know, eventually just go to the chorus and you just keep playing that chorus again. But just remember that. Da, da, you, that's my part right there. I just like that part. I just wanted to play it one more time because I liked it. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.